Welcome back everyone to a rather hot Saturday morning here at the Big Top. Currently it is 11 o'clock and we are sitting at $37. Been quite slow today so far. A few things that we've sold uh, so far in this Saturday morning. We sold an N64 controller. It was brand new. We sold Disney Extreme Skate Adventure for the original Xbox. That was one of our regular customers. He uh, picks up lots of Xbox games. Came in and picked that up. And we sold the Action Replay for the DS. So guys, if anything out sells, I will let you know. Alright guys, I went out to the Browseway and into the center. The gentleman who sells video games here normally with me was, uh, his shop was closed today. Uh, actually found a couple things for myself and one thing we're going to sell out here. The thing we're going to sell out here, I found a uh, copy of Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom for the GameCube. It's a pretty nice pickup. And a couple things for myself. We've got the Close Combat Trilogy. This is for the early, like Windows 95 uh, PCs. Been looking for this, uh, at least the first one, but... I was able to get all three of them together, which is really nice. Look this up on eBay. It's like a $25 to $50 game, even in this condition, which is absolutely crazy. Last thing I got was a Maximo Strategy Guide. thought that was kind of neat. Uh, it also has the poster in it for the uh, Maximo Strategy Guide and the Post Combat I paid $5 for, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! game I paid 2 Well, guys, a gentleman just came in and brought some stuff into us. Really happy that he came to us. First things we got, we have uh, three GameCube games that we picked up. We've got Pac-Man World 2. These are all complete in box and the discs are in great shape as well. We have Harry Potter Quidditch World Tour. And another copy of Splinter Cell. He then brought in probably my favorite thing so far this weekend that has uh, been brought in. He brought a Atari 2600 system in. It's a light sixer in amazing condition. We hooked it up. Has a crystal clear picture. I mean, it is absolutely perfect. The games that he brought with it, nothing really spectacular. We've got a copy of Sword Quest Fire World, Sword Quest Earth World, copy of good old E.T. We've got Venture. We've got Miss Pac-Man, pretty good version of it. One that I decided to keep for myself. This is a label variant for Sword Quest Earthworld. This is the 1987 variant. I do not have this one in my collection, so I get, get to add that one to my collection. And the other game that I've already put out, because it was a common, that was Combat. Really, really great and very happy to get that in. Well, it is coming up on 1 o'clock. We're setting at 2.05. Definitely starting to pick up here at the Big Top some of the stuff we've sold here in the last couple hours. Jamie, the video, video streamer, came in and picked up quite a few things from us. He picked up Tekken 2 for the PS1, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 for the PS2. He picked up Burnout, a loose copy for the GameCube, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle, Gyromite, and Tetris 2 for the original NES. We then had a couple come in and pick up Batman Arkham Asylum for the PS3. We then had another couple come in and pick up Solitaire and Cookie Mama 3 before the DS. Then a uh, son and his father came in, picked up Madden 09 for the DS. I think I let that go for $2.99, kind of a cheap game. Uh, then we had somebody come in and pick up three Game Boy Color games. Then they also picked up Motocross Maniacs and Frogger for the handheld as well. We then sold a Gundam game. I, I have been eyeing that game for quite a while. Uh, unfortunately, it went out this morning. They also picked up Crimson Tears, also for the PS2. We then uh, had a couple come in and pick up an original Xbox and Sonic Heroes. Uh, they live in the same town as us, and we had some of a, a kind of a, a surge uh, last week that blew my wife's uh, power supply for her laptop up. It also fried their original Xbox. That's why they picked that up. Then we sold a bagged, used, uh, or a brand new USB NES controller. So guys, if anything else sells, I will let you know. We just took in three more things. Two of them are an absolutely amazing uh, deal for us. I'll show you the first one. Yes, it's a crappy game. Crusaders of Might Magic, but it is factory sealed. Next, we have a copy of Parasite Eve, the original one. Unfortunately, this is the greatest hits version, but the disc looks like they've never been used. Here is the good one. I don't have this one in my collection, so I told the wife within a couple weeks if it doesn't sell. Probably going to add it to my collection. That is the sequel, Parasite Eve 2, again. The discs looks like they've never been used, and the case is in absolutely awesome condition. Well, guys, it's 2.30. We are sitting at 3.93. We've had another really big push, so it's turned out to be a pretty darn good day, considering how hot it is. That's awesome. 
Some of the stuff we've sold here in the last couple hours, we sold a Super Nintendo AV cable brand new. They also picked up Dark Siders for the 360. We then had somebody come in and pick up my Super Nintendo Game Genie. Had it for a while. I think it was missing the cover uh, that said Super Nintendo on it, but it worked fine. They also picked up The Legend of Zelda for the Super Nintendo as well. Then had somebody come in. I tested a PS2 for them. They picked up an AV cable since the system worked. We then sold an N64 system. It was one of the $45 systems. They also picked up Turok Rage Wars and Mario Tennis. We then sold that Atari 2600 system. Yep, it lasted about two hours before it was gone. It was in just amazing condition. Really glad to see it go to a good home. He also picked up Defender for the system. I threw in five games for free. So guys, if anything else sells, I'll let you know. Well, it is a quarter till four. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We ended up at 410. Not bad for such a hot day. Really surprised me how well we did today, just considering how slow it started. A few things we sold before we left. We sold Fairly Odd Parents for the GameCube. They also picked up a 299 generic Game Boy Advance game. Then somebody picked up Lord of the Rings Two Towers Complete for the original Xbox. That same family then picked up Medal of Honor for the PS1 Complete. So now, guys, stay tuned for Sunday. Welcome back everyone to another hot Sunday morning here at the Big Top. Currently it is 11.30, we are sitting at 181, started really slow but it has picked up quite a bit in the last probably 30-45 minutes. Some of the stuff we've sold here uh, in these last few hours, we sold two 360 battery cases. Then Mike came in and traded some stuff in. Um, he picked up Uniracers, Bigfoot, and uh, Bad News Baseball. The last two were for the NES and Uniracers of course was for the Super Nintendo. We then sold a PS2 system. It's been a while since one of those went out the door. Really nice to sell that. They also picked up God of War, God of War 2, and Madden 08 with a 8 megabit um, memory card. We then sold uh, ATV Off-Road Fury 2 for the PS2. Then somebody came and picked up Haunted House for the 2600, Sword and Serpents, and Xenophobes for the uh, NES. Then we had one of our regular customers come in and pick up Final Fantasy Tactics and Parasite E for the PS1. And then they also picked up Pokemon Sapphire for the Game Boy Advance. We also took in a few things. One of our regular customers came in. We picked this up from him. Midnight Club 3 uh, Dub Edition Remix. Then I went out into the Browseway and we had a new guy out there. And I picked a couple things up from him. We picked up SimCity 2000. Really good condition for the PS1. And then TAC and the Guardians of Gross for the PS2. Another one that's in great shape. So guys, once things start picking up again, I'll let you know. Well guys, it is 1.30, we are sitting at 2.82, turning out to be a pretty decent day for us, but it is super hot out here today, I think it's hotter than it was yesterday. A few of the things we've sold here in the last couple hours, we sold Left 4 Dead for the 360, we sold a 2.99, a Game Boy Advance game, I think it was like a Namco Museum, we sold MLB The Show, uh, number 10, for the PS3, we sold Watch Dogs for the Xbox One, My Sims for the Wii, Dr uh, driver, Parallel Lines, and Gun for the PS2. We sold a bowling game for the 2600. We sold a Super Mario Galaxy and a SpongeBob game for the Wii. We then sold one of the new style, like Atari 2600 RF adapters. Things are great if you ever have one of the older, like Atari Coleco in television systems. They're perfect for um, to get really good receptions on those systems. And we sold four Skylanders. Guys, we just took in a ton of stuff. Let me show you a uh, few of the highlights that we uh, just took in. First things guys, we finally got an Xbox One controller in. It is one of the special edition Copper Shadow. This is actually brand new factory sealed as well. The other really cool thing is we got a factory sealed Mario Party 7 in. The game is factory sealed. The box is a little beat up. Did not come with a microphone, but that still is really cool. Alright guys, talk a little bit more about the stuff that we got in today. The one gentleman, he contacted me on Twitter, of all things, and he brought me probably 50, 60 games, a couple game systems. It was a PS3, uh, backwards compatible one, one of the first uh, models, as well as a GameCube, which was nice. He brought me three or four GameCube games, nothing spectacular, uh, a whole bunch of PS3 and 360 games. Some $10, $15 games, also some $3 and $4 games. Um, he also brought a drum set and guitar in as well. It was actually in the original box. Some pretty nice stuff. Uh, he was going to go see Scott over in uh, Pinellas Park, but he just didn't want to have to make the trip. Sorry, Scott, <laughs> that I got the stuff. But guys, if anything else sells, I'll let you know. Well, guys, it's a quarter till four. We ended up at 3.43. Not too bad for a hot Sunday uh, afternoon. A few of the things we sold here at the very end, we sold a copy of Diablo 3 box for the PC. Sold an NES AC adapter, brand new. 
We then sold God of War 3, God of War Ascension, and God of War Collection all for the PS3. We sold Link's Crossbow Training for the Wii, and we sold Mario Kart's Wii. Also, I've been watching the Bucks uh, game so far. It's the first game of the season. Uh, they're doing pretty good right now. Still uh, biting my nails because it's coming down to the wire. So, guys, now stay tuned for the wrap-up. Yeah. All right, guys, here is the wrap-up portion of the video. On Saturday, we did 410. Sunday, we did 343 for a grand total of 753. Not a bad weekend, just considering how hot it was. I do have one small pickup to show you. I'm not going to show you the stuff that I had already showed you previously in the video that I decided to put in my collection. A limited run games. Um, this last ep one that they released, it was an RPG, so I decided to pick it up. And just so you guys know, the next two releases that they'll be doing will be RPGs as well. So you can expect um, for me to pick those up, and I'll show you those in the a, uh, upcoming video. The game that I got was Rainbow Moon. I got it for the PS4, and I also got it for the Vita. This is what the graphics looks like. It looks like a, a pretty, uh, pretty cool RPG. Really excited to get it, and uh, can't wait to start playing it. Again, guys, thanks for watching.